Hello guys, in last lecture we have seen how to automate the Android apps, how to inspect the Android app elements. In this video I am gonna tell you how you can inspect iOS apps and also uh, how you can automate those apps. So let us get started. Here I have opened this inspect iOS apps uh, page in this tutorial. So what you have to do is uh, you have to download the desktop uh, APM app because uh, to inspect this uh, native iOS apps you will need desktop app so you can find it here apm desktop github.com slash apm apm desktop releases so you have to download that app after downloading uh, once you open that app this is how it looks like this is the port you can change the port but uh, I recommend that you don't change the port but uh, you can start the server by clicking here I'm using this version 1.15.1 so that is how you can uh, start the server as you can see the listener started on this port now to inspect the iOS apps what you do is uh, there are two ways in which you can do that so first of all you need to click here start inspector session and there you have to uh, pass the capabilities like uh, let's say you want to start iPhone 8 emulator on Android uh, sorry uh, the iOS version say 11.0 then you can uh, do that here so here you can uh, add the capabilities name then if it is a text a boolean number and its value so I have already saved the some of the capabilities here you can see iPhone uh, 8 and uh, iPhone X so if you click here you can see these are the capabilities I am passing for this app platform name is iOS device name is iPhone 8 uh, automation name is x platform version is 11.0 and wait for questions uh, false this parameter is uh, an optional but uh, I will uh, recommend that you are using this parameter because uh, starting the app on the with this parameter uh, set to false is uh, is better because the application is launched very fast if you set it to false and the application that I'm using here so I was talking about two ways in which we can do that uh, like inspect the elements so one is uh, by just providing the app file so it will install this app on this uh, iPhone 8 emulator simulator and then uh, inspection session will start and other ways uh, if you click here you can see there I have given bundle ID so if you know the bundle ID of the app and uh, the prerequisite for this uh, method is that application has to be installed already now this preferences app is like a settings app in iPhone simulator so it is already installed and I know the bundle ID so I have used this uh, bundle ID there and the rest of the parameters are same so what are we are going to do now is we are going to launch this app so test app is actually uh, I have downloaded it from uh, here github.com slash apm slash ios test app so you can download it uh, from there and then you can just execute this command npm install from this directory so just uh, clone this repository and then you can install this using npm install and then uh, once it is installed it is uh, found in the directory build directory So you can see in the build directory that app is created in the release iPhone simulator so this app is there so that application uh, is there now uh, let us start the session so go to this APM and uh, just select the save capability and to start the session you can see there is a button there this one just click on that the iPhone is already running iPhone 8 simulator is already running now uh, what it will do is it will uh, install that app test app and then uh, launch it and once that application is launched you can uh, inspect the elements as well so you can see here this application is being launched now test app So if the application is already there, it will delete that and then install the new fresh one. And the application is up and running. 
and, and now you can see uh, here in this inspector on the left hand side it will uh, show you the elements and you can then inspect it just click on uh, any of the element and then it will show you the details like uh, what is the xpath what is accessibility id type all those things it will be displayed so like that you can inspect this like this uh, after i clicked on this uh, button another pop-up has come but uh, to get this source code new uh, new to lo uh, load new page uh, in here you have to click on this button refresh source and then uh, this pop-up will come here now and then you can inspect so like that okay cancel so like that you can uh, inspect these elements here you can go back if I saw this you can also start recording and then it will create the code for you and copy XML to clipboard this is also possible directly from here and uh, swipe by coordinates step by coordinates that is also possible so you can see this you can see the coordinates uh, of the elements as well as you take your mouse so this will be useful sometimes when elements are not being clicked so that is how you can uh, inspect these uh, elements now i'm going to close this one so if you go back here now this was a third party app uh, but if uh, there is a built-in app already there running in the simulator then how you can uh, launch it it is the process is actually same all you have to do is just start the another session so i'm going to start this session where i have given the bundle id remember that earlier I, I had given the app capability now i'm giving bundle id because application is already installed and i know the bundle id bundle id is, is nothing but the unique reference for that so i'm just gonna start the session and it will launch this uh, settings uh, app on this emulator simulator and it is launching the settings or the preferences app Meanwhile, let me uh, let me tell you that I have 10 years of experience in automation testing, IPM, Selenium. These are my core uh, skills. So, if you have any questions uh, related to that, you can contact me. You can ask uh, questions through the comments. You can uh, send me an email, or you can also make comment on my website, softforce.org as well. Once this uh, details of that app or the XML uh, source is loaded here, the same way. Uh, you can inspect that uh, like how we did it earlier so sometimes it may take longer and now you can inspect the elements like that. just click on the element and then on the right hand side it will load the details it's uh, uh, you can see that it is its six path is xui element type static text at name is equal to sign into your iphone and the uh, same way you can just uh, you know inspect all other elements as well so that's it in this video in next one uh, what we are going to do is we are going to actually write a code to automate these apps so i will see you in next video till then have a nice time